Greetings, my family in Christ. You ready for some good news? Okay, today's parable is about the unmerciful servant. Matthew 18, 21 through 35. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell, and fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into a prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said, I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Wow, just forgiveness. And <clears throat> God takes that pretty seriously, it seems. <clears throat> well, excuse me. Well, I know how it is when you can't forgive someone and you carry that burden around with you. My, um, my first husband divested himself of his of his family and it took a long time for me to get over that well to forgive him probably because I was very blessed God led me to a new marriage and even a new child so I was super blessed but that old pain that old hurt that old woe is me would creep and when the destroyer, you know, that's the devil, when the destroyer found reason to harass me, I guess, and knew he could stir up trouble in my heart, he would do that. So finally, finally, after 35 years, it finally hit me what true forgiveness was about that situation. And the only thing I was, the only person I was hurting was myself, of course. I mean, that person's long gone, literally, physically, everything but that forgiveness out of my life. So now he doesn't have any part of my life. And I am, can feel my blessing, blessings wholly and give love to my family probably not maybe more but with a fresh new perspective maybe I don't know but the destroyer certainly had it out for me to do what he could and I foolishly did not heed the warning signs that it wasn't doing much to help me just to tear me down and what God had graciously given me so I beg you guys to think about the past things that are still lingering in a hollow place in your heart and just forgive them 
ask God and he will lead you to how to do that. In Jesus' name, I pray you all will find your blessings today and thank God for them and enjoy them. Amen.